this is the box. And this is from the Daihum Company. This is their solar-powered, battery-powered security camera. Now, it very much challenges, very much challenges the Wise Outdoor Cam, if you have one of those. Probably neck and neck, if not better picture quality by far than the original. And the V2, it's really close. It has a different purpose. Now, it doesn't have base stations and travel mode and all of those other things that you may come to expect from Wise. But what it does have is an amazing picture and no monthly fees. So they have the capability here. I'm going to do a quick unboxing with the top camera just so you can kind of see how they've put everything in here. This is the user manual you have here, your quick start guide. Pretty simple to follow. You got solar panel. You actually have two brackets in here too. That confused me a little bit the first time is that you actually have two brackets. You have one for the solar panel and then you have one for the, the camera itself. It's got a ton of different adhesive for screw mounts. So that's that capability. And there's how to align it. So this is the solar panel right here that it comes with. So that's kind of a trick little system there. I've seen a lot of this size solar panel because it's just enough to run a camera, maybe a few watts at most. It's not gonna be you know, some super fancy one. Now I don't have the camera in here and it's because it's been sitting around me the whole time, but this is normally what you'd, what you'd get out of it next. And this, I absolutely love these half hemisphere mounts. So what's cool about this magnetic mount, watch this. You can point this in any direction. Let's get back out here. So you can mount this anywhere. If I had it mounted here and oh, the picture's not perfect, I can move it towards you or I can move it up or I can move it down. This half hemispherical mount is perfect and the fact that it's battery powered means that there's no other wires. Now you can run it three months just like this. They have a version that you can buy that just has this. Now this kit that they sent me out, which is really cool and I flagged it in the uh, Amazon chat, is for the one with the solar panel included. You can run this forever. So you don't have to go out there and pull it down and be down a couple days and remember to charge it and send it back up. This one will run, it says continuously, I'm guessing in most places that have sun, <laughs> uh, that you can run this thing continuously on the internal battery with the included solar panel, which is pretty slick. So I'm gonna turn it on here. And the way I do that, I just go down to the bottom. This is where it recharges. I'm gonna show you that on the top camera here. So I just pulled this waterproof cover off, and this is again outdoor waterproof. I'm gonna hold that down for a couple seconds until it makes noise. There we go. And you can see that little blue light means that it's connecting. Now, if I was setting it up for the first time, you need to download the Die Home app. Actually, their version, if you follow the Quick Start Guide, is even better. It's the Vic Home is what this one does. If you do the Die Home app, you're going to have to fix some things like uh, it didn't work initially, so I'm hoping they're working on that. But if you download the Vic Home app, which I'm going to show you in a second, you can actually go in there and set this thing up in just a matter of minutes. And the picture quality, it's already recording, <laughs> is fantastic. So I'm going to show you some examples of that when we get into the app. Um, as far as if you wanted to recharge it, it does come again with a few feet of micro usb cable like i told you it's got a ton of different mounts it's got a reset pin there another cool thing it's got an adhesive mount for that hemispherical base so if i was really serious about putting this up on my wall like i was telling you i could literally just take this adhesive base put it on here go mount that to my wall and put that up and i've got a stick up cam in seconds so this really competes with blink and their stick-up camera, but it's got a 5,200 milliamp hour battery. That is so huge, the 5,200, and it's already attacking everything that's metal in my <laughs> little room here. This is gonna be for later. But yeah, this is from Daihum. Again, a battery-powered cordless wireless camera. So you think of a lot of the wireless IP cameras. This thing is way, way beyond that. It's already got a solar panel coming with it that's calibrated and works with it. It's waterproof, including while running solar. So you see that plug there? If I move this out, and I think I might have to remove it, I'd have to go look in the actual detailed instructions. But when I plug this solar panel in like this, it creates that gasketed seal again. So I retain my waterproofing even while it's plugged in. So I can see this. I've had some mail theft lately. Thanks, people. Uh, so I actually can see this working really well up at the top of my property and I've got Wi-Fi signal up there. 
I don't have power at my mailbox where I want to run this. Basically, I want to run this right on top of the mailbox. And another interesting thing I should point out about it. So from a unit perspective, it's pretty heavy. This thing's almost all battery, right? Let me show you on the side camera here. Just kind of rough dimensions. We were using a, a mouse before, so about the size of a mouse. So that's pretty reasonable. Um, another cool thing about it is the housing is removable. That's how you set it up. So if you wanted to set it up this way, there's a QR code on the back that I'm not going to show you guys because I don't trust y'all. <laughs> no, I trust you guys. I don't trust people watching this on replay that are going to try to get my camera. Um, I did sign up for it with an email address. So you do have to have an email address. It does send you a verification code. It goes through all of that. Uh, but really easy to use and set up. I'm going to set that there. And it is freaking out right now. It's sending my phone notices constantly that stuff's going on. But if you come in here and flick this up, there's your micro SD slot. I don't remember the exact max. I think it is a full 128 gig. You can put up to a 128 gig in there. Uh, it does have seven days of rotating cloud storage. Another interesting thing that you'll notice is it's got this really large area right here. And this large area is the passive infrared sensor. So Wise and others, like all the, the manufacturers that are working in this space, are using passive infrared because they can keep that powered up for a very, very low power draw. And then when they see any motion, it kicks on. Problem with that is you get alerted for everything. Any kind of motion, you'll start getting random false alerts. Wise has solved this with Cam Plus. These guys have a similar capability and a feature. They have person package detection and all of that with the cloud, so they have that capability as well. Again, from the Daihoom company, this is their solar powered wireless security camera, 